Mr. Brown lived near the center of town, but his small house had a garden. Mr. Brown liked his garden very much. It had a lot of flowers and they were pretty in summer. Red, blue and yellow. Mr. Brown liked sitting there in the evenings and at weekends. But he had to work, too. Mr. Brown worked in an office. It WASNT near his house. So he often went to work on the bus. He came home on the bus, too. Mr. Brown was a lonely man. He didn't have many friends. And he didn't talk to many people. And so he was sad and often bored. One very hot day, Mr. Brown walked home. He did not want to go on the bus that day. He wanted a walk in the warm sun. In one street, there was a small shop. Mr. Brown looked in the window. There were very old things in the window. And Mr. Brown liked old things. He went into the shop. Good afternoon, said the man in the shop. Good afternoon, said Mr. Brown. Can I look round the shop? Please do. Mr. Brown looked at the things in the shop. He saw an old doll with a sad face. It was not a pretty face, but Mr. Brown liked it. The doll was a little old man, with white hair and black clothes. Mr. Brown thought, perhaps the doll is lonely too. He asked, how much do you want for this old doll? The man thought, oh, that, three pounds, he said. Mr. Brown wanted the doll. Why? He did not know, but he wanted it. Three pounds was a lot of money for an old doll, but Mr. Brown paid it. He went out with the doll in his hand. He looked at it's face. It is only a doll. He said to it, I am going to take you home. The doll did not answer. It was only a doll. So why did Mr. Brown speak to it? Because he was lonely. He put it in his case with his papers from the office. Mr. Brown was tired now. So he got on the bus. The man came for Mr. Brown's money. And Mr. Brown bought a ticket. Suddenly, somebody on the bus spoke. Go away, said the person. You stupid man, go away. Everybody on the bus looked at Mr. Brown. Did he say that? They wondered. The ticket man was angry with Mr. Brown. Why did he say that? He wondered. He gave Mr. Brown a ticket and went away. He did not like Mr. Brown. When Mr. Brown got home, he was very tired. Who spoke on the bus? He wondered. He did not know. He took the doll out of his case and looked at it. It was only a doll. It was not very pretty. It was quite ugly but it had a smile on its face. That is strange, thought Mr. Brown. He put the doll on the table and had his dinner. Mr. Brown was not very hungry, so he only ate some bread and butter. Then he went to bed and slept. He forgot the doll. It was on the table. Morning came and the sun shone into the room. Mr. Brown opened his eyes. There was something on his bed. What is it? He wondered. He looked, and he saw the doll, but I felt it on the table. It cannot walk. It is only a doll. Mr. Brown did not understand it. It was very strange. Mr. Brown went to the front door. 
Are there any letters for me? He wondered. Yes. There were three with his name and address. But what was this? The letters were open. Who opened them? Mr. Brown did not know. Mr. Brown ate his breakfast. Then he went to the bus stop and waited. His bus came and stopped for him. Mr. Brown got on with his case and sat down. There were a lot of people on the bus. And one old woman could not sit down. Her face was tired. And Mr. Brown was a kind man. He stood up for her. And she sat down. Then suddenly, somebody spoke. You stupid old thing. The woman turned and looked at Mr. Brown. She was very angry. Mr. Brown's face went red. Then he remembered the doll. He got off the bus. He could not understand it. That doll is at home. He thought. Or is it? Mr. Brown opened his case and looked inside. The doll was there with a big smile on its ugly face. He put the doll down on the street and left it there. Then he went to work. That is the end of that doll, he thought. Good. Mr. Brown worked all day. After work, he walked to the bus stop. But what was that? The doll was at the bus stop. Mr. Brown saw the white hair and the black clothes, and he saw the smile, too. What is happening? He wondered. It is waiting for me. It is not only a doll, but what is it? He turned and ran away from the bus stop. Then he walked home. He had to walk three kilometers to his house. He was very tired. Mr. Brown sat down in a chair and went to sleep. He slept for an hour. Suddenly, there was a big noise in another room. Crash! Smash! Mr. Brown opened his eyes. What is wrong? He wondered. He went into the other room. The doll was there again. It sat on the table and looked at him. Mr. Brown's cups and plates were all on the floor. It is not only a doll, Mr. Brown thought. And it is not a friend. This is difficult. What can I do? He took the doll into the garden and buried it in the ground. That really is the end of you, said Mr. Brown. You are under the ground now. You will not get out of there. Next day, Mr. Brown went to work on the bus. He did not have the doll now, and nobody spoke. He worked hard, and he was happy. Mr. Brown came home again that night. He watched television. This is good, he thought. At eleven o'clock, he went to bed. The house was dark and quiet. But an hour later, there was a sudden noise in the night. Mr. Brown sat up in bed. He was cold and afraid. What was that noise? He wondered. The noise was at the back door. Mr. Brown was afraid. But he opened the door. It was the doll again. It was dirty from the ground, but it looked at Mr. Brown and smiled. It was a cold smile, and Mr. Brown was very afraid. He looked at the doll and said, Go away. Please, go away. The doll did not speak. It only smiled again. Mr. Brown was very angry now. He took the doll into the garden again. He found some wood, and he made a big fire. He lit the fire, then he put the doll on the top. Now die.
said Mr. Brown. It is different this time. This will be the end of you. And Mr. Brown smiled. The fire was hot and red. The fire got bigger and bigger. Suddenly there was a loud cry, and people ran out of their houses. What is wrong? They shouted. There is a big fire in Mr. Brown's garden, somebody said. Look. And there was a big fire. The people looked round the house and garden. They could not find Mr. Brown. But on the ground near the fire, there was a doll with white hair and black clothes. It was not a pretty doll. And there was a smile on its face. Our story is over. I hope you enjoyed this story. See you in the next story. Practice English with us. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe this channel for more videos.